Now granted, I did live kind of a sheltered life in Limestone County. We didn't have this growing up. Perhaps you did, but it just seems like in recent past we've seen the popularity grow of spaghetti squash. This is spaghetti squash. I did it for people that have heard about it, didn't know how to cook it. I've heard the question a couple times, so I thought I'd do it on the show. Spaghetti squash is this oblong squash. I think it's in the uh, pumpkin family because it smells and acts just like a pumpkin on the inside. But uh, it always has these little stickers on them, so make sure you take that off. Not that it matters really too much, but. Uh, then we want to cut it in half, okay? And then this, this can be kind of tough, so you want to be careful when you're cutting through that, but I'm just going to finish it off right here, okay? There we go. Then we just take a spoon and scoop this out. See, that looks just like, those look just like pumpkin seeds. The flesh acts like pumpkin and it smells exactly like a pumpkin. It just doesn't, it's just yellow instead of orange. We're going to add all of our seasonings later, so if you have a little spray coating or a little vegetable oil or a little butter, that's fine too. Just spray your pan. Invert these so they steam. And we're going to place those in about a mm, 375, 400 degree oven for about 45 minutes. Now these are out of the oven. You can see they got a little brown here, which is okay. And you can see I can push on that and that squash and it's just cooked enough. And these are still warm. I let them cool down a little bit. And this is why they call it spaghetti squash. I'm gonna take our fork, just have a little bit of stuff there, and you just start picking at the squash just like this. Okay? Just pick at it and let it fall into your bowl there. And we're gonna season this up in just a minute. But just very lightly, I'm just pulling all these little strings of squash out. Just take our fork and get going there. See how nice and easy that comes out? It's, just, it's amazing how, how easy it is. Just nice and flaky. Okay, so one whole squash probably will feed, you know, two people for sure, or three people. I wouldn't serve this as the only vegetable, but it certainly is a nice side vegetable. Something a little different that maybe people haven't seen before. I've got a little salt and white pepper here. A little white pepper, a little salt, and Definitely going to put a little bit of melted butter in here. Or a lot of melted butter. Okay. And then I'm going to dice some tomatoes to go in there also because I like a little fresh taste. Also for a little color too. We're going to do our tomato kind of like we did our pepper. But everybody still... Okay. Going to just roll that tomato out so we get a nice clean level filet there. Uh, line them up and get a small dice there. So now we we'll add a little bit of a diced tomato there. Okay, and I'm going to add some chives today also. I didn't have chives, so I actually used a little bit of green onion tops. Okay, we're just going to try not to break that up, just toss it around a little bit. That's a great new vegetable. I know that people are not making this at home at 5 o'clock for dinner, so this is just a, just a new idea something to do and it tastes really good too I mean I don't know if my kids would love it but it might might get them a little bit interested now just as a little side dish the spaghetti squash can be used just with any sort of any sort of meat try to get some of these tomatoes you can even uh, try to twirl it a little bit make sure we get some good tomato and, and stuff on there but it's a nice just interesting side dish that just something different that you can can use Okay, just garnish that up a little bit, and Mike, are you gonna be brave enough to taste oh, this? Oh, sure, absolutely. Just taste a little bit. Of I'm one of those people. I do like vegetables, and anything unique and different is yeah. good for me. This is great for the summer, you know. It's light. I know. It has a hint. It's not a bad thing. It's like a hint of an uncooked potato type thing with the taste. Yeah. It tastes really good though. And if you'd like to have this recipe or any others that you have, and whether you're watching us online or on air right now, you can access the recipe by going to kbtx.com. Just click on to Christopher's Kitchen and be sure you watch for the recipe for the spaghetti squash, our feature of the day for a nice side dish from Christopher's Kitchen. And for Chris Lampo, I'm Mike Wright.